All right, so you got an HSA, you use some of that for some medical expenses, and they ended up sending you a form 1099 SA. How do we get this thing in TurboTax? Let's get it done. All right, so you're going to come over here, click that wages and income button, scroll down, and I think the easiest way to do this is this search button here. Just type in HSA. Less common income pops up. There it is. Click on that button there, and let's fill it out, right? Who had the HSA? I'm going to say I did, okay? Check that little box. Continue, and look at this. We're going to say we're going to add one in here, okay? And uh, this is it. So we'll take a look at the actual form itself. There it is. I got it all redacted, so there's no information up here. But nonetheless, that's what this is asking for, right? The payer's name. What's like that bank? So we'll enter that in here. And I'm just going to type in, you know, bank and their address, 123 Main. That's everyone's address for me. Newport, CA, there you go. And that federal ID, you'll see that also up here, right? That TIN is what we're looking at, okay? So I'll just type that in there. And then hit continue, right? You don't have to put in that account number. No need for that. Hit continue. And there we go. Yep, it's got my name on the 1099. Hopefully, since we checked that box, that's what you're seeing right there. Your name right there or whoever's name is right there. Put it on here. Hit continue. And there we go. Let's put in the, the numbers here, right? It's asking for the gross distribution. So box one, gross distribution, four and five, 94. Just type that right in there. Okay, and if you have anything in the other boxes, obviously, you're going to type that in there. But, you know, in our case here, there's nothing. this is generally what I see most common here. Okay, um, and then down here, box five, it's an HSA plan. So, again, bam, there it is. Very common. All right, hit continue. Oh, you know what I, I just missed? And that's what it just asked me for. Box three, the distribution code. You'll see that right here, right? Box three, code one. So, that's it. Fill that out, box one, normal distribution. All right, that all looks good. I'm going to hit continue. Did you spend your HSA on medical expenses only? It's, ta look at that. It's tax free if you did. <laughs> um, so yeah, you, you check that box. I mean, these things are generally well regulated regardless, but if you hit no, obviously it's going to be taxable. You hit yes, there you go, tax free, reporting it properly. And boom, there we go. All right, and so the way we know we did this properly is if we go ahead and print this return out here, we can go ahead and take a look at the form 8889. Where exactly is this guy? Oh, come on. There it is, right? You'll see here, right, the total distributions from your HSA, this line 14A. And remember, I double entered in this from here. So 416 times 2, there it is. 416 times 2, right? There we go. And I said all of it was for medical expenses. So there we go. And none of it is taxable. Zero. And boom. That's how we know we did it right. Hope the video was helpful. If it was, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel. Also, if you haven't done so already, please use our link in the description for TurboTax. It just essentially helps the channel out. We get a little piece of whatever you pay for TurboTax if you pay. And it doesn't change your price at all, but we do get a little bit of that. just helps out our channel. Thank you so much, guys.